Hi, my name is Ray from Ray Life Coaching. I want to talk about goals and how they require decisions. What does that even mean? I like to say to my clients that this means that goals aren't attained by meditation and visualization alone. And don't get me wrong, I think meditation and affirmation and visualization are a key part of the process. I see them as really strong tools to center yourself so that you can tap into what you truly want and who you truly are. However, what I mean is that your goal requires focus, planning, and action. You have to make that decision to start even when you aren't sure, not completely believing, or aren't completely ready. How do you do that? First, there is some accepting and trusting that has to happen to make that decision. What does accepting mean? It means knowing where you are at now. What do you have and what do you not have? So for example, maybe you don't have that 5,000 to do that thing that you really wanna do. So I want you to spell it out. What does that mean? First, I would ask, what is that thing that you actually want? Why do you want it? What is it going to do for you? What is it going to give you in the end? For example, maybe it's a sense of confidence that you think it's going to give you because you got that education. What is that education for? Maybe it's so that you can use it in your work and be better at what you do and get more money. So maybe the feeling that you want is confidence. And the value that you want is to feel valuable and more worthy of that money. How do you get at the value and feelings you're actually seeking from that thing that you think you want, that goal? Well, that's what I help my clients with, but I'm going to share you share with you a secret. Number one, you first imagine yourself already with that thing and record, write down or audio tape record, uh, how you will feel differently if you have that thing from you do now and what values it demonstrates, what will it give you. For example, maybe you want that new house and you think it requires more money than you have right now. Why do you want that house? Because you think it will allow you to have more community in your life because you'll be able to have people over in the way you would like, um, have more gatherings because the rooms are bigger. Maybe you'll be able to have people stay over from you know, another state if they're coming to visit you. Um, maybe you'll be able to have those parties that you like. You want to have that community closer by, closer to you. And so the value that you get from that is community. The feeling that you might get from that is love and connectedness and sharing. And maybe some admiration for the that fact that you shared. So number two is you take inventory of what you already have that demonstrates that value and feeling that you think that thing would give you, that goal would give you, and see it, okay, what are those things that I already do and already have in my life that will give me that value and feeling or already do give me that value and feeling now? So take inventory. So you're gonna have to maybe take a week and just look and say, hmm, how do I feel on that? Does that, does that make me have like a little tinge of community in my life? You know, maybe you go out dancing and that feels good and that makes you feel like community. Maybe you go gaming and that feels like your little community. Um, maybe sometimes you have people over, but it's only like one or two or three, you know. So second is taking inventory. Number one was finding your values and feelings. Now, number three is do more of it. Think more of it. Tell people about what you already do. Like, just compile all those things that you do. Do more of it. Think of different ways you can do more of it. Maybe create a meetup where people come into your home more. You know, those people that you already like. Or build more community in your daily life. 
Fill your life and mind with those things as much as you can. Find ways to do more of these things in small little ways. I'm going to give you an example. Maybe your place is small, but you can have four people over for dinner once per week if you make it a priority. And maybe you're not doing that now, but you know you can. Like It's another way that you can add in what you already wanted and think that big house is going to give you, but in a smaller scale and maybe more often. Maybe if you rearrange your space, you can have one or two people stay over. And yes, if you had that bigger house, maybe you'd be able to have them over for a week and it'd be really nice for them and you'd feel really good about it. But again, do it smaller scale and see if you can do it in a smaller way more often. Maybe you can also visit others in the way that you want them to come over to your place and be a part of more community or hobby groups. So just it really implementing, implementing that feeling and value into your life and focusing on the thing that you actually want. So before, you were probably complaining about not having that 5,000 for, or whatever, that money for that house. And you, maybe you were getting excuses as to why you can't have that. Now you are focusing on what you have and trying to get more and more of those things into your life. For some reason, refocusing on what you want will help build the trust that you need in actually attaining that bigger scope. Like begets like. And so the more you add more of those little things that already do what you want into your life, the more confidence you, you will build in believing that it is possible. It may not be in the form that you thought it should come to you in, but the result that you wanted will be inevitable if you focus in the right direction. You will know in your bones more and more that this is going to work because it is in small moment to moment happenings. So check out my next video where I break down what your decisions, when your decisions require commitment and what that really means and how you can keep yourself accountable in doing the work you were meant to do in this earth and in this life. Can't wait to hear how this worked for you. Please PM or DM me or leave a comment on your results. Thanks. Have a great day.